2021 marked the year Direwolves entered into Quake Champions for the first time and flying the flag was Australian powerhouse Zenaku. Zen's first appearance under the Direwolves banner was in Stage 3 of the Quake Pro League Season 2. Coming off an impressive performance earlier in the year, Zen was looking to improve the placement coming into Stage 3. Zen came out in the second equal alongside Maestro's Venga in the group stages to progress into Quake World Championship Stage 3 Finals. Enter QuakeCon. Zenaku came up against Spartal in Winners Round 2 after winning 2-0, would move on to face Cypher. In a close matchup against Cypher, Zen would fall 2-0 and dip down into the lower bracket to come up against a solid rival in Team Liquid's De Hang. Looking to move on through the bracket, Zen and De Hang went head-to-head -head in a close series that went down to the wire, taking the series 2-1 over De Hang. Zen progressed to come up against the German Titan, Kilsen. Taking the first map by one kill, Kilsen came back in the second in force, a decider where it all came down to one kill. Seneku has no choice, he's gonna have to make this push at a disadvantage. He's gonna be trying, oh, he misses to jump as well. I think that's gonna be curtains for Zeneku here with QuakeCon, but he's gonna be pushing through. Would he be able to get any more? No, he will not. He can't. He's only got a Cannot. couple of seconds left, and that's gonna be it. That was a real, real shame. Kilsen took the final map four to three in the series two to one, leaving Zenaku with a top eight finish. This marks the furthest an Australian has ever gone in the World Championships, so hats off to Zenaku for achieving this milestone. We hope you make another run on LAN next year at the QuakeCon 2022. Speaking of LAN, Maestro Gaming announced the first Iron Fist 2021 Invitational, a 16-man Invitational which saw the best of the best in the Quake scene come together at the Red Bull Gaming Sphere in London to finally play on LAN after two years of online play. Of course, Zenaku was invited and was ready to take heads. With a first round matchup against Brazilian Nosfa, Zen waxed his opponent 2-0 to move on to Rafa in the quarterfinals. Rafa was on a tear and Zenaku fell into losers. The Lone Wolf would then go on a run taking wins against Buckster, CNZ and Maxter to land in the losers semi-finals against Razy. Razy brought the heat and took down our boy Zenaku 3-0 to bow out at a respectful fourth place, thus wrapping up the year for Quake. With such a huge performance throughout 2021, we can't thank Zenaku enough for flying the Direwolves flag in such high level competitions around the world. We look forward to what 2022 brings for Quake and hope to see you alongside us for the ride.